Hello, welcome back to LGB Podcast. I'm your host, Hector. I'm here with... Nicholas. And unfortunately, Bobby was not available to um, voice record today. Unfortunately, he is not in school. But we decided to still go. And for today's video, we're going to talk about the first sports in history. So I did some research and we found that in uh, prehistoric caves, where a caveman used to live, that there's drawings of wrestling, male wrestling, and it dates back to 15, 3,000 years old. Uh, do you have something to comment about that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of impressive how wrestling was like invented so long ago and it's still very, very popular. It's like a unique sport, you know, because a sport doesn't like ages that long back and becomes popular again, you know? Yeah, I also find it fascinating because um, I, well, when you think of wrestling, you always think it's something like physical. But here in the caveman drawings, you see it is very, a, a very sport where it's like very friendly. You know, it's not enemies. And that is pretty fascinating. I don't know how they managed to think that a physical sport can be friendly, but they managed to do. And um, why do you think it's still um, popular here? You, you said because it's unique, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Something more to add or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's popular because, you know, for like us guys, it's important to show strength, you know, because it's always been part of like... Right male culture and now even female culture to show like who's the strongest because you know pride yeah you like pride and and you want to feel like dominant in yeah, front of the exactly. other things that's great and also we know that the olympic games were invented in ancient greece and we also know that the first sports they were doing were male running like uh track and field and uh, what do you think about that well, again, you know, uh, it's kind of impressive about how, you know, how long it was the Olympic Games went without being held because the first one ever was in ancient Greece and the second one ever was in 1908. Mm -hmm. Not even 1908, 1899. Yeah. So it's kind of impressive how, you know, how they took a concept from ages ago and made it a, fr a friend again. Like, for example, now we got the Beijing Olympics. Yeah, that's very good. And I don't know if you realize, but there is something similar between the two sports. We know that both of them um, are still used today because they are very simple and very easy to do. You don't need a platform for running. You can just run on land. Um, and for wrestling, you can just well wrestle wherever you want. And the most unique thing is that they both started as only males. And now in today's sports, we know that we include females. Do you have something to say? I mean, I think it's a good idea. I think, like, if you really want to do it, it doesn't matter about your gender, you know? Or you look like your sex. You can do whatever you want. That, that's, Go for it. that's good. That's really good. I agree, honestly. Because I think it used to be only males because it would be normally the male's role to uh, be more dominant. But I think that now that we understand uh, gender equality even more than before, I think that it's very good that we um, allow females to do the same uh, sports as males. But obviously, they're not one-on-one. -on -one. There's females on females and males on males. Yeah. And uh, stuff like that. And um, why do you think, like, the Olympic sports, you know? Now it's such a big thing, you know, it rise once for years. Why, like, how do you think it spread from ancient Greece, who held it in, like, small, small, like, uh, outdoors? And why do you think it's so popular now? I think it was because like nations wanted to one up each other and they felt like using the Olympic Games could like help them show the other nations that their men were better than the others because it was a lot of like competitiveness between the nations and they thought if we make our guys compete uh, against one another and we win then our nation will be regarded as a better one yeah so you think it's very like nationalistic yeah very it's, nationalistic yeah wow. what it, it's all like that and some countries still do it for that wow so you think it was uh made so like countries can compete without having a war in a way yeah wow that's actually pretty smart i didn't i didn't even think about that that's pretty good um i also think because um yeah like nicholas it's a bit nationalistic and uh to feel like um i think it's very important for some people to represent their countries when holding that gold medal i think like you know and the flag behind them and the national anthem yeah and i think it's just amazing and how do you think that wrestling and running impacted future sports? Well, I mean, wrestling and running is important because wrestling, I think, inspired boxing and, oh. all, of the, and all of the boxing forms like Thai boxing, That's Japanese boxing. R wow. Running was also important because by running, obviously you have sports like football, basketball, where, you know, running is important. Like if you just walk in football, 
you're not gonna get very far with it being tackled you know wow that's actually pretty smart yeah so i think that every so we both think actually that every sport comes from these two like they all have both have a mix yep wow that's actually cool like uh like swimming i think it's like the equivalent of running but underwater yep. you know wow that's actually pretty good well thank you for listening this is lg podcast nicholas do you have anything to add subscribe please we're, okay we're running we're, we're broke yeah we're running low on subscribers please subscribe thank you very much for listening till next time this is lgb podcast